You are walking along the river's edge to, in the mixed district late at night when something in your pack begins to vibrate. The sensation is odd and you quickly fish up the small metal sphere you found out on the road. It shakes uncontrollably and then begins pulling your arm towards the river. I don't remember this. I'm guessing this got added. Uh, which one would that be? I'm guessing it's something you chose to pick up. We um, we were off on a road event and we fell into a pit oh. and we were exploring and we found. Oh yes, I do remember. Yeah. Uh, you walk to the bank, but still the sphere pulls. It is drawn to something in the water. Do we let the sphere go, or do we jump into the river and continue to follow the sphere? Jumping follow. in the river. <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> as soon as you jump into the cold, brackish waters, the sphere stops vibrating or pulling. You swim for a while in the direction it was pulling, but eventually you realise you are on a fool's errand. You emerge from the river wet and miserable and absolutely nothing to show for it. You lose a tick! Bastard. Devastating. Oh, uh, and it goes back in. It goes back in. Oh, well, we know not to bother swimming around next time. Yeah. Okay. There was a heavy rain. Do you want to do anything in the town before we head off? No, no, no. no mind. <laughs> not retiring. <laughs> not retiring. I am not point seven five percent. No, point two five. No, can't do maths. There was a heavy rain last night, and the roads are now dark streaks of mud. And as bad as it is for you walking. You see that others up ahead on the road are having worse trouble. You come upon a collection of wagons stuck in the middle, stuck in the mud on the side of the road. You look around and see an odd assortment of people dressed in garish clothing. They are working to push their bright painted wagons, all emblazoned with a marvellous and magical techno circus Maybe. logo out of the muck. We just stopped for a quick meal, and now the wheels have sunk into this mess. A quattro with a fancy top hat says as he approaches. I'm sure our strong men will get us out eventually, but we certainly wouldn't begrudge a little extra help. Do we help push the qu the Quattro Ringmaster's wagon, or do we help push out the fortune teller's wagon? The fortune teller or the Quattro? Yeah, either the ringmaster or the fortune teller. Um, it's not told us anything about the fortune teller during the text, just the fact that I guess it's a fortune teller. I said fortune teller. I don't know. What do you think? I feel like they're going to tell us something good. Yeah, a fortune teller might send us off on something. The quarter, uh, the ringmaster is probably going to give us either money or. Yeah, as long as people don't give it up its reputation. We're at 20 anyway. Should we go for the fortune teller then? Yeah, I'd go for it. Option B. You take pity on an old orchid woman trying to extricate her fortune teller's wagon by herself. You help her get it back on the road and then she grabs you and looks deep into your eyes. Your path is dark and cursed. There is a shadow around you, a gloom. You must leave this place. Be rid of it before it consumes you. <laughs> Gain two experience each. Start the scenario with a curse. Wow, mother, stupid bitch. <laughs> but two experience. Two experience, yes. Hurrah, that's... That, that actually might make a difference. I might be levelling up at the end of this. Can I have a pen? Yeah. Eight. I need, I need ah. 12. Well, you're definitely levelling up then, if we finish this now. Oh yeah, because we've done level four, haven't we? Which is 12, isn't it? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, that's a curse into my deck. Which I'm very likely to draw. Yeah. Because I'm going to keep rolling modifiers until I hit it. So that's okay, because at least it gets rid of it. It'll be out of the way. So, we're wandering off into the noxious cellar. Oh, which is actually linked to Gloomhaven, so we shouldn't have even done that road event. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we've done it now. After skulking around in far more crypts than you'd like, you finally find a hint to the remains of Zorn in an ancient sarcophagus. 
a tone with strange glyphs that glow in an eerie green hue. With some amount of study, you uncover a hidden passage in the text giving directions to an old shack in the sinking market. However, once you arrive at the house, you don't notice anything particularly interesting. Looking through the time again, you see references to entering through an archway, but the building has nothing of the sort. That's when you see it. A set of long, flat stones in the dirt in front of the house, fanned out radially, radially to form a large circle. You wouldn't have thought much of it, but one of the stones is curved at the top, like the apex of an archway. Inspecting it further, you notice a small switch and quickly press it. The stones sink into the ground, each one progressively farther, until they form a circular staircase leading downwards to the fully exposed archway. You descend the stairs and go through the archway into a round cellar without any other visible exit. As you begin to search for more clues, you hear the grating of stone and look around to see the staircase slowly ascending back upward. In a panic, you renew your efforts to search the room. When you find an odd switch covered in glyphs, you press it in desperation. Immediately the ground shakes and several massive boulders fall from the ceiling. Once the dust settles, you see you are alone and the stone walls slide away to reveal doors and a host of unwelcoming enemies. At least the glyphs on the switch are the same as in the tone. You have found the right place. Special rules. Add two curse cards to each character's attack modifier deck as a scenario effect. I will take two more. <laughs> so four out of 13 cards I could stop on are null. But they're rolling, so hopefully you'll get them out quickly. And I'll just roll onto them, yeah. So it'll take me a few turns to get them out. But um, Add two curse cards. Yep. Uh, the obstacles in the centre room cannot be destroyed or moved through in any way. They also block line of sight for ranged abilities. Characters can only start in sections of the centre room that contain monsters. The treasure tiles can only be looted using a loot action. Oh. <laughs> so we can't win it. So we'd have to assume... Which card is the modified card? Yeah. Yes. Trouble with the Beast Tyrant's deck as stands. Let's see what the errata is. Because you are getting one. <laughs> That's awkward, isn't it? That's a little awkward. Unless we just modify it just and just say that I can stand on it. Stand on it and just forfeit an action. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have no loot card. No loot card. Well, let's have a look. See what what's the FAQ say on there. Card 487. Which other card that is? Maybe it's one that's still locked. Got it. So what's with what which bit is the loot? The bottom so is a loot there. is a command loot one. Command loot. Command loot one. So I have to take that then. Uh, yes, and I will take a loot and card with me as well. Remember that. Two, five, six, eight, ten. I've got a loot card with me. I've got two loot cards, so that's fine. Um, okay, so I need to keep some of my movements in. Definitely need to keep my command loot in after what bloody happened last time. Mm. Probably your switch thing as well. Oh no, it's a command loot. Yeah, so that's fine. You don't even have to get close to. I was going to say you would need to get there to loot. Is it a ban or is it? Do I? Can I keep it? Can I use it all the time? Uh, it doesn't specify. So I'm guessing it's a reusable because it's, use, it's only loot one, isn't it? Yeah. I want to keep that one. Um, if a character becomes Exhausted before they lose a treasure tile, the scenario is lost. And we can only start in spaces, or 
in start locations which have enemies nearby, obviously. Um, so that is this location or this location. I don't know if you have a preference of two. What's that where those coins are? Should I just go to one closest to me? Yeah, that would make sense, doesn't it? So I'll start with the shaman, you start with the elite. So I figure I'll go for this one since that's definitely something that I will be achieving. But the other one is probably something that I'd like to do anyway with this character. So I'll keep that one. I'm going to totally forget how I loot. <laughs> We're upping the difficulty to scenario level four just for the challenge because we're, you know, I've only got three curses out of my deck. Why, why would I worry? <laughs> Uh, am I with anyone that's got shields at the moment? A vulnerable one. Uh, shaman. You don't have a shaman, I have a shaman. Um, to the ooze, which we don't have. Oh, shield four? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And five hit points. I've got a PS4. <laughs> but that, they're not. Oh, no, he's not elite. He's shield three and three hit points. Who's that? Is, have you got him with he's you? He's here, yeah. That's good. Um, okay. Do I do I do that way? I do that. Okay. So thirty-two. Sixteen. Uh, so shaman is eight. Yeah. Scouts are 79. Living Corpses. 66. Okay, so the showman is first. He is just going to. Oh, he's going to immobilise me. Oh! It's like the worst thing he could do. Are you kidding me? Okay, so he's attacking me for three. Two damage. And I'm immobilised, and then it's me on a 16, so I was going to move right into the middle of them and attack all three of them. I can't, so instead I've got an attack two with advantage against the one scout I'm next to. Uh, three damage and a wound. One to number four. And then I have attack two and stun. Which I was going to cleave onto two people, but can't be strengthened. So it's just an attack two with advantage against the scout, heal, and minus one. So it's one damage and I heal. What damage did he do me? I forgot. What? I thought you said one. Yeah, one damage. There we go. Oh yeah, because it's normal. I, I dropped it down two hit points back to him. Um, but I've got a rolling heal, and then deals him one damage, and a stun. So at least the scout isn't going to attack me this round. Um, and that's me. So my bell, I'm guessing, will target the elite first of all. Um, Let's focus. No, the yeah. living corpse, because it's a lower initiative. Um, that's it for three. I then have, I'm going to 
move three but I'm not and then add one that's attached to command <laughs> and hit all three of them yep so all for four so I'll just go in that order so that one is five and this me. dude yeah I missed that dude and four five six on this dude that's pretty effective and then it is going to be the living corpse so this one will move up and attack me attack of four five damage and then against your bear an attack of four five damage And then it is the scout. So the one nearest me is stunned. So he does nothing. Except take a damage from his wound. And then the one nearest you will attack. Uh, the elite can't avoid disadvantage. And targets two. So disadvantaged against your bear. With an attack of three. A miss. One plus one, and then it's against you. Three. And then the normal one. Oh, actually, how much movement? No, no, they don't move. So that's fine. So the normal one then attacks you for an attack of. Oh, the bear with disadvantage for an attack of two. One damage. And then against you for an attack of two. Three damage. Target two is that their standard or is that their card? That's their That's card. Their card. So I can risk not healing myself this turn. Let's get through that. I am no longer immobilized, am I? Okay, I'm already strengthened. Do I want to just give them disadvantage? Is that worth it? I'm going to go slightly slower. Mm. I should have used my potion and just done that again. Um, I'm 24. I am 24. The scouts are 53. Oh, Shane's at 8 of my disarming. <laughs> <laughs> Living corpse is 21. And um, muddle and immobilize. No, so I'm getting wrecked and I can't attack. <laughs> so Shaman is first. Attack of 1, 2 damage. And I'm disarmed, which is great. Uh, what number are you? 24. So, living corpse, muddle and immobilize me. And make some. And, just, and target one adjacent and me, would that be my bear? Be the bear. And it's you. Uh, so his normal attack against the, who is it now, the living corpse, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Three damage. Six, seven, eight, nine. No, that mass is really eight, eight nine, eleven. eleven, so it's dead. <laughs> was that disadvantaged? It wasn't, was it? There wasn't, no. Oh, did, oh yeah, because it would be on this attack, wouldn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Does that mean I don't have it for this attack yep. now? Uh, so same attack again, so it's attack two. Targeting both of them. Mm -hmm. So this dude here attack two. Two on him. Okay. And two on him. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
and then I have an attack two left. Mm -hmm. So be one, three, two. I feel like I'm getting wrecked and I'm not even pulling my curse cards. So then it's me. I have move three, push one. So I'll push that guy away from me. But I can't move because I am immobilized and disarmed, muddled, and strengthened. So I'll get rid of all four of these tokens. <laughs> and that is my turn. I'm going to use my stamina potion. Oh, shit. Yeah, me too. To get the thing back. Um, do I want to do that? I don't know if I want to print that. That would kill double jump. Yes, I want to get that one back. And then it is the scouts. So the scout one attacks you, attacks your bear even. They attack a three damage. And then scout four takes a damage from his wound and dies. Hurrah! So what we're saying is this shaman needs to just bug out more. Yeah. Uh, well, he's drawn both his eight. You can't have more eights in there. <laughs> So 31. 16. Uh, you saw the scout? Yes. I still have a living corpse and a shaman. Nine. A nine! <laughs> so he's <laughs> still going before me. So attack of one, three, and another curse because three wasn't enough. Um, did we not? I don't think it should have reshuffled this guy. We should have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I've got my missed card. Oh yeah, I missed you when I did my attacks. So might not be a plus two. It's zero damage in the cast. That's slightly better. Uh, and thirty-one. Sixteen. Me. So I am going to move two and strengthen and attack two against both of them with advantage so against the shaman no damage got two curses against the living corpse four damage and corpse number two and then I'm going to use attack two, range three, target two, wound. I'm disadvantaged because I'm adjacent, but advantaged because of the strengthen. Yeah. So against corpse two, three damage and a wound. There's the shaman. Five damage down to two damage and a wound. So he'll be dead on the next turn. Yes. <laughs> and that generates fire. No. Draw on a crit. And then what? I'm doing attack three, range three. Oh no, bear first. Bear is doing an attack three, which I believe kills it. Yep. Yep. And then that attack three pointless, but I have got my loop one card. Come on, loop one. Cool. So then the living corpse attacks me, takes a damage, attacks me for five, six damage. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Oh, I, did I kill a thing? No, I didn't kill a thing. What, who, how did it not, how did you not kill a thing? It died of its wound, oh. as well as Shaman. Um, who knows? 
Um, not that we really affect each other at the moment. No. I am strengthened anyway. I'm guessing, how will that work? Oh, because he can't focus on that, so my bear doesn't move, right? Correct, because he doesn't have a viable path. Okay, I... 20. 22. The shaman is 89, moving, healing, and blessing himself. 47, that's fine, so it's you. I'm healing four and four from both of us. <laughs> healing is overrated. And then I'm, I'm tempted to give it back to do it again. Um, primary top actions. Oh, wait. I'm going to put this out. Add plus one attack to all your attacks when you have fewer hit points than half your maximum hit points rounded up, which I do currently. So I get two XP. I'm then going to do break the chains, which should be an attack three. It's now an attack four. Disadvantaged, but I'm strengthened. So just a regular attack four. So against the shaman. Kills it. So I gain a hit point. And against the Living corpse, wound, disarm, plus two. So one, two, three, <laughs> four, eight. Eight and a wound on him. So that kills him as well. So I've killed two. I will gain two hit points. Yay. I'm up to seven. I don't want to heal too much because I um, want to keep getting my advantages. <laughs> I have a feeling that that's going to be pointless because 20 people 5. I'll give it a go. Everything's fucking ranged, isn't it? But cool. I'm just decided. Okay. Uh, 17. 8. Yo! I'm going to heal 3 at range 3 and loot 1 shield oneself. <laughs> I'm commanding my pig. Pig? Yeah. It's Alex and the pig. Pig bear. To move five. There is two. There is two. He's not ranged, is he? Hazardous? Uh, poison and damage. <sighs> what is this one? This is the shame that I to it. He is ranged. That is your room. Yeah, so I am going to probably want to use my thing this turn. Of the shaman. So if I one, two, three, this will what poison and poison and damage. So scenario level four, maybe six damage from the trap. Yeah, I think I'm going to risk getting from him because he 
Well, they all need to turn over anyway, don't they? Shame them. Yep. Oh, we're going to run a tag team one way. Mm -hmm. uh, Drake is also not doing anything. He's going to strike on scout. Move, attack. So he's just moving and attacking. So that changes everything. Let's move him into there. And immobilise him. So nothing's doing anything to me this turn, is it? Nope. Um, he's mobilised and then I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this to get that back, and that back, and one more. Cool. Probably that one. So then it's all of their turn. So, spitting Drake, just shield heals and strengthens himself. Then the shaman is a move of three and heals. And then this guy has move plus one. Range and he's mobilized. Mm -hmm. Cool. I don't know whether I want to start myself the trickle of damage or not. <laughs> Well, we could just move in a little bit. I'm gonna have to gonna have to rest anyway. I think I'm gonna go in and try to kill that shaman straight away. What is that? That is a top action. Well, I'm gonna play the two cards I have. Oh, I suppose actually I've still got my major stamina potion. And then I can move and do a thing. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, 14. Mm, that's actually quite high. 44. Scouts. 29. Oh. Getting break. 32. Shaman. 74. Cool. So it's me first. I'm going to play this out, add one to each of my attacks, and then I suffer one damage at the start of each round. Make 2 XP, and then as a top action, I have retaliate 2 self. Yes. I can use my major stamina potion. I've just realised I'm not going to be able to get into this fucking show and you really wasted my PS1. Well, you never know, because they're going before you anyway. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how things here, look. Yeah, so he'll move up and block me. Um, it is, yeah, uh, no, they won't, because they're ranged. This, uh, scout. Scout's oh, ranged. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. So the elite okay. one attacks you first. Uh, attack three, two damage on the bear, and then the normal one attacks you for two, three damage on the bear, and then the, this guy has a range of four, um, yeah you can see from there, can't you? Um, and he strengthens, so this is an attack three with advantage. Four damage on the bear. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> bear's fine. Got two hit points. Uh, so I need to kill the shaman before he's tired. Oh, and you're muddled. Your bear's muddled. Oh, that's okay. It's just on that attack. Is it me now? It is. So attack two. 
two on him. Just in the middle. Uh, move, come on, have to move five, but just one. Mm -hmm. Hit him for three, and it's a pierce of four. So four on the shaman. Three on the shaman. That's enough. Um, and I'm muddled against him. No, you're not. He, he gives muddle. I gives muddle. That kills him, right? Mm -hmm. And that was everyone's turn except the shaman, but he's dead. Now oh, this fire's gone, isn't it? You're not creating fire, are you? Uh, no, I don't create any <laughs> elements. I think I've got one card that creates wind, but I don't know if I've got it with me. Well, I'm not going particularly quickly because I've got nothing I'm fighting. I'd most be happy to get rid of when I inevitably need to discard a card. <laughs> like, I actually don't need to get, I've got a command, so I actually don't need to move, do I? No. So. Except if you wanted to soak some damage to protect your bear. No, I wouldn't get one. No, but you swap. I do, but I think it's in here. Um, so I've got 20. 53. I'm hoping this spitting drake creates ah. fire. <laughs> he doesn't. Ah. I'm 54. Uh, so, bear tax for two. Three. Mm -hmm. And then he's leaving four. And hitting for four and strengthening himself. Uh, so five on him. Which I'm hoping is yep. really dead. That's enough. My strengthened. If I survive. <laughs> <laughs> then it's me on 53. Really disappointing. I have a move four, one, two. Where is everything? Where are they hiding from me? Um, Olga, poison trap. And an elite scout. And oh, bloody. Why do I get the ones with the oozes? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, it's down here. Oh, oh, good news. Oh, obviously, the, the one before I can even get anywhere close to them, they're splitting. <laughs> so, elite ooze. Let's get another ooze ready for the regular ooze. It's there. And a shaman is here. We only need to flick one from the shamans. Move in and mobilize. So this guy has a move of one. No, he's elite. So he's got a move of two and range of three. So he would poison me. Oh, I need to take a damage at the start of my turn. Um, I have two movement left and I cannot get within range to shoot. That's really annoying. Oh, no, I've got six movement because I'm below half health. Excellent. So I have one, two, three, four. You've only got three, I suppose, two of them are released. Ooh. They had four. You're about to have more than three. <laughs> Yes, but I can get here and get a shot on this fella. Yes, which will make him a bit weaker, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna go there with our move six. Unfortunately, there's no fire, that would have got me an XP. But it does mean the shaman. He's got move minus one, he's got move two. But then it doesn't get line of sight on me. 
We can't attack and immobilize me. So all I'm going to get is a poison. That's fine. So I'm at attack four because of my two combos. So attack four against the scout, three damage, and a wound. And then against the ooze, number nine, five damage, and a wound. And he's got a shield, so four damage. I'm just going to put five on him. It's going to be his activation, and then he's taking a damage from the wound. So, and not, yeah, two for nine in a minute as well. Not faffing from a. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so at least the normal ooze won't have many hit points. Um, that is that done. I could go invisible. Yeah, then they'd all just fuck all, ain't they? Yeah, I'm risking the oozes. Like, do I. I guess I'm going to have to short rest anyway, aren't I? So I I'm, am long resting. I'm just going to get a poison. Oops. Screw it. I'll short rest. Um, I'll go invisible even. There's no reason not to, I suppose. I, I am long resting. Um, so. Oh, yeah, stuff happens. Shaman, Shaman doesn't do anything because it has no target. Scout does nothing because it has no target. Ooze takes the damage from the wound, which you've already done. It takes two more damage and then it divides. Which means we have to think with two health. Two health on the new ooze, which is perfectly acceptable. I don't know what numbers you've done, but there's seven. Mm. Seven, seven, seven. I don't even know what's wrong. Oh, it's, oh, it's only split in once. Mm. Well, I don't know why I thought twice. <laughs> <laughs> and then that one's shuffle it. And that one's going to shuffle. Oh. So. Oh, at and least the Drake needs to do something. Should have done something first. But... Spitting Drake on an 89. Yep. And the scout, I don't think has Oh, attacked. your scout not attacked. No. Sorry. So, scout on a 54. One, two, three. It's within range. So it's going to do an attack three. Three damage and poison. What's his attack? Two. Three because of the poison. And his three as well, his so three. I might start to do take that one. What was it? Three? Three damage and poison. And then the spitting drake has range four. One, two, one, two, three, four. And then it hits you. So it doesn't need to move. Four, three. No, four or two. Yeah, two. Two. Three because of the poison. Yeah. Two damage and muddles you. Just cancels out your strength, and, but it's fine. Um, one hit point left, eh? Let's hope your bear goes first. One hit point. Oh shit, if he dies, we lose. He won't be going first, he'll still want to rest. Well, if he dies, then we lose, yeah, because you've got no loot ability. Switch your short rest and switch yourself with the bear. I don't really want a short rest. <laughs> then we're going to lose. <laughs> Or you should have lost some cards to mitigate that damage. I really want one. Well, so you could have lost one from your hand and three from, or two from your discard. Yeah. And I get to pick it, don't I? I so I can it. just do that this turn. When I get hit twice before my turn. Yeah, yeah, you could. I'm, I'm gonna or you short rest. I'm going <laughs> to roll this. I'm going to short rest. Because I think, with, I think I've got enough cards. Okay. So I'm invisible, so I could go slowly, and it makes little to no difference. Oh, there is fire, isn't there? So that's good. I can use that with jump. I really don't do many melee attacks, considering it's what my character is built for. I just stick around doing my ranged attacks all the time. Okay, so I'm going to take a damage 
then I can do attack fours out to everyone. Oh, this, I didn't give the scout a damage when he activated it, I can assume. So I'm going to go fairly slowly since I'm still invisible. I'm guessing you're 99. Yeah. You know, Seeing common sense. No. <laughs> Scout. <laughs> Move, junk, loot. You're fine. He's not attacking you. The oozes. Did you shuffle this? Then. I don't remember. <laughs> he just split on top again. Don't mind. Shaman. Eight. Disarm. Mommy. Splitting Drake. Splitting Drake. Attack minus two and stun. You're fine. You're out of range. So I'm not getting hit at all? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Shaman is first, but I'm invisible, so he does nothing. <laughs> and then it is the scouts. So this one will move towards you. And loops. <laughs> and this one over here takes a damage, so he's up to five. He's just going to die next turn anyway. Then it is living corpses are dead. Me on a fifty-three. So I'm going to use this fire and the fact I'm low on health. Oh, I take a damage uh, to get a move eight. And I'm going to use my winged shoes to give it jump. And I'm going to go here and get an XP. And then I've got attack two, which is attack four because of my two combo bonuses. So attack four against the shaman. Curse and a wound on him. Go in, go in Clean four just takes the wound against this elite chap. Five damage kills him. Oh, not my coins. Against number four, heal one, and a curse. I have no idea what's going on, just, but I assume you've got this. <laughs> just a wound on the other ooze. Well, Bit annoying that I've managed to pull so many curses. Um, but I heal one, heal two because I killed a thing. And those are discarded. So that was me. Then it is the ooze. So it takes one damage, but it's still alive. So then it's going to attack me. Attack two poison, but that's fine, there's only me to attack. So it's attack three. Three damage and I'm poisoned. And then it is the spitting drake, but he's out of your out of range of you. And then it's me! I'm strengthened and muddled, so it's just an attack two. It's a miss. <laughs> Short rest. Oh, that's a thing actually, I forgot. I'm going to lose a hit point and save that card because it's actually my stronger card. Hmm, now I've got a hand full. I'm going to do something crazy. <laughs> Really crazy. 
What's he got on him? He's got no damage at all, is he? And he's six. Seventeen. Sixteen. Let's shuffle. Is there a shaman left? There is. Nine and he's cast and top to two. Is there a living corpse left? No. Nope. There is an ooze left. Good luck with that one, mate. Uh, Drake. Ah, damn it. The one I said I didn't want to have then. What? For him to go slowly? Uh, no, I don't want him to have a move. So he's moving three. And he's range four. Damn it. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> uh, so it's me on a 16. I take one damage. Um, I'm going to do attack two against adjacent with strengthen. Bit of a difference. <laughs> four damage, three shield. One damage, and then I'm going to do attack three, range three, target two. Um, oh, sorry, he should go first. Who? Oh, yeah, sure. He takes one damage from the wound, and then he'll attack me and curse me. So I should redo that with an extra curse. Um, so it's attack of one. Miss. Yeah. Oh, actually, how much move has he got? He's going to move to there. So it does slightly change my turn anyway, because I'm no longer adjacent to him. Okay, then it's me. So I've taken my one damage. Instead, I'm going to do my attack three, range three, pearl first of all. So I'll attack the ooze. It's actually attack five, so it kills it. That's down to a three. One shield. Never mind, it's fine. And then attack five against the shaman. Stun six. Uh, three damage. So then so he's dead. Just oh no, because it's a shield. Six damage, three shield. Three damage. Oh, um, I'm looking at the wrong one. He's, he's not elite. elite. So he's dead. He's just, just dead. And then I guess I got a move too, but I'm just going to stay where I am. Not on the double lo loot? No. I suppose it's irrelevant. <laughs> um, so I'm really in with that Drake. You, why did you flip the scout back over? Or did we not draw one for it? We still had scouts. Oh, I didn't do one then for the scout. Did I? No, I don't think I touched the scouts. I thought that was their last one, it was poison. Maybe I should have just shuffled. Attack minus one. The 79. I think it's going to be dead anyway. I'm really hoping so. So, attack two. Mm -hmm. Two damage. And an attack four. Five damage. Is it? Oh, I killed two things, I should get two hit points back. See, the crazy thing I was going to do is propel my dude over there. Five. If I send my bat all the way back there, I won't get into the action anytime soon. I'm going to have to do it. So then I am burning oh. this card. Cool. And then it is 
the vermlings. This guy takes the damage from the wound. Okay, he's taking more damage. Apparently he's still alive. I was ignoring him. Um, never mind, he's still alive, but he's not moving, so he's just going to take damage. And then it is the spitting drake. We'll do one, one, two, three, four, and attacks you with an attack of five. You've got your full health, right? Yeah. So unless he gets a two times, you're fine. Why would you take six? Because <laughs> it's fun. I want to come back and get all this loot again. Minus one, four damage. You're fine. No, oh, I need to worry about this guy over here now. Um, if my bear has is this as a focus, so he moves three, yeah, mm -hmm. but then he can't move another three. Would he not move at all, or would he move? He'd move to shorten the distance as much as he can. Cool. I guess I'll go slowly and hope this guy doesn't reach me. Okay, uh, 20. 67. Scout. 35. Son of a bitch. Forgot they had that card. I would have just gone quicker. Move attack. Uh, so me? What are you? 20. 20. Oh, I should have just done the quick thing. He's going to steal two of my loot. Oh. I forgot you don't they, need it though. I forgot they had a loot. Oh. Well, I'm doing a loot too, and all I'm doing is looting two and staying still. Oh. I should have just done it quickly. I don't know why I didn't. Four. Oh, one, one, two, three. Healed him. Attack three. Ah, oh, motherfucker, I can't reach. Come on, man, man. I pretend I wasn't so retarded and do my range four one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't need attack one. Oh, I'm guessing I lose that. Yeah. Um, oh, your bear wouldn't have healed either because it's poisoned. He just takes rid of the poison. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, did I stop that yet? No. So just one damage on him. One and four. Okay. And then it is the scout who has a move of five. He's going to stay on two coins from me. Absolutely wasted my existence. Duck. And he takes the damage. Then it is the spitting drake. Uh, so the drake is going to attack your bear. Oh, what the fuck? That's why I moved in there. <laughs> oh, you bastard. So it's an attack of four, five. So and then I'm doing a loop too. Keep that one. Which gets me one XP. I take a damage. And I'm going to play this. You may overheal to a maximum of 26 hit points and do a heal three on self and get two XP. This is going to start causing me an issue. I think I'm going to just have to let my bear down. Well, you can't. Oh, I can't. <laughs> you just need to kill him. He's got eight hit points left. You were so confident. I was so confident. Probably I shouldn't have swapped them. That was such a waste of a move. I, d I thought I was doing it to make him the focus. I suppose technically you could have swapped me. Yeah. That's 
too late now. I'll too late now. A really good idea. But I, I didn't have the chest at the time, but you could have just swapped me and that thing. And then you've got all the time in the world to... That's a really good Do you have swap... There's, do you have the other swap card? No, that would swap enemies in a way. But no. Yeah, but do you have it? Because this guy dies on his next wound anyway. No. Well, you're on your but own. it's two figures, so I could have done him. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, no, I have to see what I have to say about this guy. So I want you to do that one. Thieves. Yeah. Um, that one. So that is um, 32. Eight. Oh, this is Shield and seven. heal. That's annoying, but it's not killing you this turn. Right. So me on an eight. I am going to gain advantage on all attacks this round. Create fire. All attacks targeting you gain disadvantage this round. And then I will, oh yeah, I suffer damage as well. I will heal, heal X, where X is the difference between your maximum hit point value and your current hit point value. I am short 10 hit points. I will do a heal 10, and it gets rid of the poison. And I get 2 XP. Yes, I've made it to 10. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I am... I've got three cards left. Oh, he's moving. Oh, I created fire. <gasps> I could get another XP. Yeah. Yes! Okay. Well, does my oyster. Yeah. I'm going to do my scout's turn. He takes the damage. He's dead. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've messed up again because this, I'm, I'm in the way. So my bear can't actually get to him to do an attack this turn. I want to, want to say. If I've got a push two, is just push them two, not arranged, isn't it? Correct. Yeah, you just move them two. Yeah. So that's that go done. Well, on the plus side, he doesn't do anything. Not that Nice, right, so I'm 31. Wait, I'm short resting. He's 32, so I am fast, so he goes Wait, up. I'm short resting. Uh, I'm still here. It's him. Um, no, I'm going to keep that card and lose a hit point. No, my loot card. No, well. right. So I have to do it. I'm going to do an attack of five. I'm on 16. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I can do for 10! Kills him, got right? Got killed five. No. <laughs> like it doesn't. Yes! Um, I'm going to... Oh, the fire's waning. I'm going to use the... I'm going to take a damage. And I've got move eight. I'm going to go... One, two, three, four. Ow! Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> it gets me an XP. I'm going to uh, long rest. I'm going to get this coin. And I'll take... And I'm going to have to lose a card. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm not going to run through the trap. <laughs> do you care? You don't care if I'm exhausted, do you? No. Cool. Oh, that's a burn card. I'm in a long rest, just so I'm still here. Uh, okay, so I need to keep those two towards the end. But now I can fuck about and get some uh, coins, right? Probably not. <laughs> How many cards do you have? Oh, okay, you still got a few. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, don't, I just don't really know. I suppose I could use that five now to get up there. Let's just use, you know. Oh, but then I can't loot at the same time. Oh, well. So that one goes up there. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Stand him there. Uh, I am then going to use those two cards to move him to two. 
I'm going to give one last. Yes, it killed. I think that was the proudest point. <laughs> Where's my news card gone? I'll raise it to mom, so it doesn't matter which one I lose. Put this one, I'll put this one. <laughs> Don't lose this one. So then I will use those two to move two. I'll use those two to move two to move five. A long rest. <laughs> Then that one. Those two to move five. Those two to loot one. Hurrah! <laughs> yes, I got the coins! <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I let like that. <sighs> Jesus. Vermily mugged me off two oh, coins. That times two gave me a little bit of a heart attack. <laughs> Yeah, it was a little bit closer than it should have been. <laughs> Inside the chests you find the pieces to a gruesome star adorned in maggots with its caged skull at its head. When you grab the last piece, another set of hidden doors slides open behind the chests. Judge, judging that you have no choice but to take that route, you enter. After a while you come upon an intersection of five paths where you rejoin your party and follow the final path back up to the surface. You return to your quarters and piece together the fragments of the star. Despite its fearsome appearance, you cannot discern its function. You do, however, notice some of the carvings on the shaft. Deciphering them with the help of the tome, you find instructions to enter a secret room in one of the crypts you had previously searched. You have your next destination. A crypt basement. So how much is everything worth? It's worth... Uh, four gold and you get 12 XP. So, 1525. So, next time we go to Bloomhaven, I'm leveling up. Okay. Yeah. Thirty-five. <laughs> Mine was um, lose a treasure overlay tile. I did that. <laughs> My other one was to kill something by four or more, which equally was done. Twenty-three. And yeah, I got a bit worried. Yes. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Closer than it possibly should have been, but... Did I still have a curse card in my deck at the end? Yeah, there it is. Very close. And that would have been, again, pretty easy had it not been for being immobilised and disarmed on the first two turns. Like, I still didn't struggle too much. We just got harassed by poison. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Should we go home and get some dinner? Not me. Crypt basement. Sounds pleasant. Right, you can have that castle back 